Ready? Yep. So what we have right here um, in the washing vessel, we have a batch of bio that was made about a week or so ago, and it's been through a wash cycle already. And so uh, what we're going to demonstrate today is just a traditional wash cycle in this in this apparatus. Um, when we first put it in here, there was a lot of methanol and a lot of soap in here, uh, some lye residue as well. So the first wash that we actually did, this the biodiesel product actually turned a, a really light, creamy color. Uh, that's usually what happens when you when you make the first wash. And then the first batch of uh, wash water that comes out is, you know, it's really milky too. Um, so we've already discarded that and then this I believe is the second wash cycle uh, that was accomplished on this batch. So the, the first thing you do when you walk in to a washed batch, and again this has been sitting for a few days, but normally you would let it go at least one whole day uh, just to drain the wash water out. So like we, we uh, talked about before, these barrels have two drains in them. Uh, one of the drains is a complete drain, it drains off the very bottom of the container, and the other drain uh, has a standpipe three or four inches tall. And you can see here I've scribed the line approximately where, uh, where that standpipe is. Since we're draining the wash water off, I'm definitely going to drain off the uh, complete drain. I'm going to drain everything off the bottom. I'll drain it until I can see some bio come out. And I'm going to try to get as much of the soapy water out as possible. Uh, if I take a little biodiesel off with that water, it's no big deal. I can set it off to the side, and then I can basically dip that bio off the top or load it into a separate uh, you know, collection vessel there and let that bio build up, and then I can drain it at a more convenient time. But uh, the more of the soap you get out, the better. So I guess what I'll do is, uh, Jeff, I'll probably uh, you want to maybe walk this over yeah. and we'll look at the underneath side. Mm -hmm. You still rolling? Yeah. Okay. okay so on the wash vessel, this nozzle is the complete drain. So I'm going to put, put my bucket under here. I'm just going to drain this water out. You can tell it's, it's kind of milky. Uh, it's clearing up, but that's good. That's what we want. You can probably see in contrast to my hand how milky it actually is. Um, a normal wash cycle, we'll put probably 10 gallon or so of water in, you know, into the container, and we'll, we'll show that here in just a moment. It's good to get all a lot of this out. Uh, we may have to go through five wash cycles, sometimes six. It all depends. I typically look at the color of my um, of my wash water coming out. When it gets to be pretty clear, you know, definitely not as clear as tap water coming out, but uh, if there's just nothing more than a little haze in there, I'll usually go ahead and uh, perform the, uh, the shake test, the 50-50 shake test, and I'll show that here in a little bit too. Uh, but it's going to take a couple of uh, drains to get all this water out. So I'm going to continue to drain this water out and then uh, we'll come back when we've got uh, an empty container and we'll go ahead and fill that with water. Cool. So we did drain most of the water out uh, of the vessel here. You can see there's at the, the parting line there's, there's very little left in here. Uh, it took two like six gallon containers full to get it out. And I wanted to show you in the top of here what it's going to kind of look like at the very end of when you're draining it out, you can see that there's kind of like a um, snot or whatever on the top. That is mostly um, soap residue, and of course there's the bios coming out, and then you know you can see underneath is the water. So when you're draining, you know your vessel, you're going to look to see this color change, and off a complete drain like this. Um, what I'll do is I'll start to see this kind of stuff come out and then I'll slow the flow of water and so I can try to capture as much of this whitewash water as I can and uh, you know leaving this is there's biodiesel in here it doesn't look really good but you know th this isn't much of a waste this little scum on top but this is about where you would want to stop there's really no use in trying to drain any more water out than this so I wanted to show you guys that real quick so what we're going to do now, we're going to add, add the wash water. Uh, like I said, this is 
I think this is the third washing. Uh, you probably do about four or five washes on this batch. Uh, earlier I mentioned that uh, the first wash when it went in here it kind of turned a really light creamy color and as we're washing the soap and the lye and all of the methanol and everything out you can see that it's darkening. So it, it should and I found to be my experience that it will darken as you wash it out. Um, this has been sitting for a few days, a day or two at least. Um, when we add the water to it, it will lighten up. And then the water will actually fall out of the biodiesel easier and quicker as the soap leaves the product. So it will darken quicker the more soap free and the closer to say being washed that it is. Um, what will really be dramatic is when we end up putting this load in the dryer and you can see the color change. I'd, I, I'm thinking if there's any way that I can do a time lapse to show as it's drying, the darkening of the color is pretty dramatic. So right now, this is how I do it. Uh, in the past, I have just brought two five-gallon buckets of water out here. Again, a 25-gallon batch, you know, somewhere around 10 gallons of wash water per cycle. Should be plenty to get, you know, the soap and stuff out. Um, the first wash we did took most of the methanol and the lye out. What I'm doing now is trying to gradually wash the soap out. Uh, we'll probably end up doing some soap tests here later. But uh, this has enough soap pulled out of it. It's washed enough. I'm going to wash this pretty vigorously, so there's absolutely no harm for me in uh, blasting this water in here at full pressure or just you know running it in or, or dumping it in with a uh, bucket. I'm going to get a paint mixer and I'm going to stir this up and do an emulsion or I'm going to try to. And then, you know, the, the less soaps in it, the quicker that that emulsion is going to break and then we're going to get our wash water on the bottom. You know, if, once you get to the third, fourth and fifth wash, it, it usually doesn't take very long, maybe an hour or two for it to settle out and then you can drain it and do the last couple of washes really quickly. So, we're at that stage now. So, I'm going to... I'm going to start dumping the water in and then I'm going to let Jeff come up here and look inside at a couple different stages and, and show you all what it looks like inside the wash. Oh. Alright, so what we've, we've already added about 10 gallons of uh, tap water. Um, you can see the separation line about here somewhere. There's a little bit of cream going on right here. You can see that's probably some soap, but it hasn't settled quite yet. Um, basically just poured it in with the hose, uh, took the nozzle off, squirted a little in, put 10 gallon in. What I like to do at this stage is, is run it through a pretty vigorous wash. I have read that some people have used the pumps to do like a pump wash. So we'll suck it off the bottom, suck the water off the bottom and plunge it back into the top and cycle it through over and over. Yeah, that will work, but uh, you're going to contaminate your lines with more water and more soap. So uh, I, I don't do that. What I, what I do is I have right over here uh, just a drill and a paint stir. So you can, you can see that? Yeah. Okay. So I'll, uh, what I want to do is go ahead and just mix this up. I mix it up for about a minute or so. Um, and you can probably... Leave the camera run. I'll just go ahead and hit this. Still see me? Yeah. This is going to mix that water from the bottom and the bio really, really well. It's going to make a, I hate to call it an emotion, but it's a, you know, pretty close to an emotion. You can see, I'm sure, when that happened, this product lightened up quite a bit. Uh, it's pretty much uh, homogenous now, the whole thing. Alright, so we'll leave that there because we'll probably run another batch through. But Pretty much the same all the way through. And uh, because it's been washed a couple times and the soap has been taken out to 
you know, fairly low level, still higher than what we want to run in an automobile. This this um, mixture will break uh, quite a bit quicker than the very first time you wash it. So, you know, I I uh, we'll, we'll probably just keep a clock on it and see see uh, how long it takes to break. I would uh, guess that within an hour, within two hours for sure, it should be ready to drain on out. So, uh, you want to take a peek in the top of here and see what show them what it looks like. Okay, so after uh, after putting the water in, we put about 10 gallons in, and we uh, stirred it up with the paint mixer. Uh, it, it emulsified, mixed up thoroughly, and then settled out. And you can see there's a there's a absolutely definitive line here between the water and the biodiesel, and it only took about an hour and a half. So what what we would do, I I would personally go ahead and let this sit overnight at least. Um, that will allow any suspended soaps hopefully to sink down to the bottom, hopefully get caught in the water layer, you know, find its, find its spot in here. And I would drain again out of the complete drain to put the separation line below the standpipe uh, at least an inch or so because when you start to drain that stuff out it will create a, a venturi and it will usually suck it over and down into the standpipe. So I, I would put it, you know, an inch or two, and of course if, if you have a different, you know, a different size vessel, that'll probably, you'll, you'll find out what works for you. Uh, when you start to drain it out and you see water coming out, obviously you know you want to drain a little bit more out. So just wanted to show that within an hour and a half or so, after this is the third wash of this batch of biodiesel, uh, we've got a pretty good separation. So I think I'm going to wash it one more time and then perform a shake test, which is 50-50 water and biodiesel, shake it up. If it separates at a reasonable amount of time and there's no visible soap in there, we're gonna move it to the drying vessel.